Hello, hello. How are we doing? Sorry, I'm a few minutes late. I um, I started off more prepared than I thought I was because I wanted to install some extra mods after last week. And then I came here like, oh my god, I haven't done that yet. And then I opened my... Oh, we might have just skipped a minute. If that went a bit funny. Um, I thought I'd installed some... Nope, I... I thought I hadn't installed some extra mods, which were basically the chest ones and the backpack mod. Um, turns out I did do that. And then I went to start. I went to take my usual sip before we begin. I realised my bottle was basically empty, so I had to get up and fill that. <laughs> so here we are. Anyway, hello, Lavender Cowboy, Benny Dreamly, Jarella. Oh, Julia Roos... Uh, Late? Um, I'm so sorry if I mispronounce your name. Thank you so much for becoming a blueberry. Welcome to the berry basket. Enjoy your Krobus emotes and early access to videos. Thank you so much. And also special polls when they're about. Uh, Vilyari, hello. Mine, Firsty, hello. Mads, hello. Enchanted Crochet, hi. Holly, hey, hello. Pelusia, Amaya. Anime Life, Nyx. I'm just um catching up with the chat here. Say Sage, Natania, hello, Victoria, uh, Siri, Thorby, who else do we have? Hicks, Eric, Sveta, hello, Farida, Herman Wamen, Sinsglow, hello, May, hello. You just went to two different sounds, also the sound to three it went very confusing. <laughs> Amazing. May, thank you so much for linking the mods last week. I have got some of them installed. Also, um, that just reminded me. Let me finish saying hello to everyone first. Uh, Julia, hello. Philanova, hello. Jenny, hi. Neon Leaf, hello. So Fresh, hello, hello. Tess, hello. Legend Finn and Nat Nicole. Euria, all right, okay. I think I've got everyone. I'm so sorry if I missed you. Um, so I, I put this question to some of the Cranberries in the Cranberry Club uh, in Discord. Basically, there are a lot of suggestions for a few different mods. So like a Harvest with Scythe is something I want anyway. I don't think it was mentioned, but um, I'm gonna... Um, I've got a few like sort of like quality of life slash... I mean, I suppose they're pretty game-changing mods, but I'm not gonna get them until I do certain things, so um, let me check what i done. I haven't installed any of them, so did I ask it in the Cranberry Club or did I ask it somewhere else? It wasn't in the Cranberry Club, it was somewhere else, wasn't it? Where did I put it? <laughs> I'm so losing track because my brain has just been all one life today where did i what did i i've lost it it was in cranberry oh my god am i just being dumb oh no it's there right first house upgrade i'll unlock the harvest with scythe mod completing the community center i'll unlock the tractor but i still have to buy it and to i would also like to use automate however i cannot unlock it until i fully upgrade my house and unlock keys walnut room so Obviously, the game isn't going to give me these restrictions. I'm giving me these restrictions, but I thought it was a fun way to be able to incorporate these fun mods and not just have them right from the beginning. Marta, hello. Art and Ray, hello. How you doing? Um, so I'm. What I'm going to do is, I think I need to put it in the description. So let me do that real quick. Um, just because, like, also I'm going to forget as well. <laughs> I'll also unlock some extra mods uh, by doing the following. Just so, like, I don't just have them all from the start, you know? I thought it was a kind of a nice way to incorporate this kind of stuff. <laughs> Man, good evening! And Enoch, hello! Sometimes YouTube kind of just adjusts it. Hopefully it's okay. I don't have any drop frames or anything. Everything seems okay in OBS so far, question mark. <laughs> we should be all right. But uh, yeah, I, I was more prepared than I thought I was. So hopefully all the mods are working okay. Because I haven't had a chance to test them yet. My... Oh my goodness. Did following on from last... You know, the 200 days of messed up Stardew. I have never in my life played quite so much Junimo Kart. I'm literally having dreams of Junimo Kart. 
All the Junimu cards. <laughs> well, balance restrictions, why thank you. I thought it was like... I mean, you probably all know how I do by now. I don't like to make things easy for myself, but... <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's make a start. Okay, let's do this. So, I've got the beach bridge in my to-do list, as well as 300 wood, so we're going to be doing that. And I think I'm going to have to install a... Ooh, I haven't looked at this yet. So this is the better chests mod. This is how chests look now. I don't know how any of it works. Configure chest. What does this mean? Okay, I don't know how to use this. I'm going to have to learn about these mods a little more. I like the fact that I can pick any colour now. And what I have got is the, um, the Terraria quick stack to chest thing. Because it's kind of satisfying. Although I need to get my wood back out now. Because I need it. And I've got a search bar, so that's also helpful. <laughs> because, um, May, you've been a bad influence. A good slash bad influence on me. <laughs> We've got a mail from Robin about stone on the farm. I do not care. No well for me. I don't want the well. I need animation cancelling as soon as possible. Caffeinated egg, how you doing? It's good to see you. I'm I'm not on my animation cancelling game today. Wow. I after playing Messed Up Stardew again, I feel so slow. Oh my goodness, I feel like I'm crawling. With <laughs> You're a horrible influence. <laughs> you are. A very mean one. A very mean one. Oh, the better chest one adds that thing too. So was the um, convenient inventory thing a bit redundant? Right, so I need that for spring crops. Let's go and shove that in a chest. And um, what was quite lovely is on the last... Wow, the chests are bigger as well. Um, on the last VOD, the wonderful person who made this mod actually commented on it with some very good non-spoilery tips. So that was really exciting. You're inspirational, but like, I don't know, is there a word for it? I did indeed miss a crop, thank you so much. <laughs> that is my bad. Um, let's go ahead and leave some stuff here. Because I don't need them. Um, I've also got, I've got a backpack mod that I have to like buy a higher tier later on, but I can't do that yet. I'm only halfway there at the moment. Um, do I want to plant these yet? Tempted to turn them... No, wait, I need to... Where's Caroline? Oh, I'm not going to get Caroline in time for um, tea saplings for strawberries. Oh, well. Oh, well. I have got the cauliflower now. Um, I will still go and give her a gift anyway. I don't know how much I want to use that strap for this, to be honest. But we'll see. I I'll, I'll have it. I'll, like, try and get the friendship there just in case. But I don't know how much I want to make use of the tea saplings in this particular playthrough. I spy for to give it to me. I don't need to, I don't know why I took my pickaxe with me. I don't really need it. You got talk your stuff too. <laughs> I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Pressing Z whilst running past a chest with existing stacks. Okay, I need to try this. If that's the case, then I'm gonna start using that instead of um, I can probably delete the better uh, convenient inventory. Hi, Azish! Five months of Blueberry. Thank you so much for continuing to be a Blueberry. Appreciate you. I hope everything is going well with your new cage. I haven't had a chance to respond, but I did see it. And it does look lovely. And I hope uh, your hamster's settling in well. You like the headphone colorway? Thank you so much. I do love this headphone. Um, I've had it for a couple of years now. And... Um, all I've had to do is replace the like headband on it because obviously it's got like this elastic bit which obviously over time that stuff degrades uh very very, very normal very inexpensive to replace <laughs> you love it when mod makers react to someone using their mod <laughs> yeah it it's been really cool like I, when I did um the city witch as well uh the maker of that also um dropped me a message about it as well that was really cool and uh, people who have worked on Archipelago. That was really cool. Oh, Driftwood is on the beach like that? That, I mean, that makes sense. Oh, it's Gold Star. I've never seen that before. Not that it means anything at the moment. It 
It's the farm linked. Uh, it should be. It's the waterfall forest. Fo Whoa, that J, J for Jojo is like bright red. You must know this is Jojo Cola. What was I doing with myself? I fixed the beach bridge. I'm going to go give Caroline daffodil. Um, next week, I'm going to install a mod that will help with um, like loading in between. How am I coping with the minus five weather? I don't mind the cold. I will say, I don't mind the cold at all. I prefer cold to hot. Like funnily enough, I just like just before the stream started because it gets really hot in this room, obviously with like the light and the PC and the two screen um, and the closed door. It gets really hot in this room. So I've literally like just before the stream started on my way past filling my water up, I did actually turn the heating down by like one degree. <laughs> Mainly because, like, I turned it up earlier because we had laundry trying to dry, which we don't have a dryer. We have to rely on the air. <laughs> we'll go have a look for forage, I think, today. We haven't got the best luck going on. Well, hello, Marnie. It's also nice just, like, having, having, having a day to get my bearings again. But... The two stream series I've got going on at the moment, I've been so excited about. Like, every time I finish them of a week, I'm just like, can it be like next week yet? Because, like, I really want to play them again. <laughs> there it is. So, um, my playlist is a playlist made up of music by obviously the Stardew soundtrack. This is just the Winter Festival one, it'll be over in a minute. Um, oh, of course, my inventory is full. What, mm, what do I keep? Hmm. There's some things I think I need. I feel like I'm gonna get loads of driftwood. I need to go home and come back out. I've got time to go home and come back out. After the stream, you're gonna go watch the first episode. Oh my god, would appreciate. Thank you very much. Um, yeah. So playlist is demon gummies, uh, game chops and coffee date, and some other game chops music so demon gummies and game chop stuff is all linked in the description somewhere oh a leak that i haven't got room for yet and then just the stardew soundtrack if i press b it'll bring up my chest from any oh it doesn't for me but i don't want to um i think i don't necessarily oh i'm like i am locked out i hope there's a there's an entrance this way i'll go through the cave what was i gonna say I want to be able to use chests near the chests, but not, like, have them anywhere, if that makes sense. Um, where do I want to put stuff? So, I had it organized in a specific way. There's all my litter. So, what? let me press Z. Oh, it's not working. I wonder if I have to configure it. But I can press this. There we go. <laughs> I might have to just, like, look through the, um config of how I use some of the things at some point. Anything here? I mean, this stuff's for shipping. I'm not going to ship them yet because I don't want to. Still got the drift wedge somehow. Do you think that Concerned Ape is actually going to make us have to care for our pet? I mean, like, if you count putting a hat on them. <laughs> oh, I already have a potato. Maybe, should I just ship this one? No, I keep it as spare. I already have several. We will ship this one. Single potato. No, I <laughs> I literally like a lot of the time with mods, I just like figure it out as I go. And this was one of those situations where I did just figure out want to figure out as I go. You have an entire stream playlist, a uh, music, a entire playlist of stream music, even though you don't stream. I mean, like a lot of it is good music. Can you imagine, like, how much more it might matter? I'm so excited about 1.6. I do worry for, like... Is there going to be a way for me to still play this when it's not working yet? If that makes sense. Like, can I can I have, like, a separate 1.6 <laughs> to this? So I can keep doing this <laughs> whilst it's not yet working? Because I imagine that, like, I know that some modders already have quite a lot of stuff ready for 1.6 but i imagine some of it will take time i haven't looked too deeply into it 
The recolor is Starberry Valley, right? You've been using Earthy, your eyes hurt much less. Wait, hurt much less than Earthy? Um, I, yeah, this is Star Blue. I love it. Um, it's, whoa, there was another piece of forage here earlier. Haha. -ha. I like, I don't like the dark ones quite as much to me. Um, I, I like lighter colors. So this is like, this and vibrant pastoral recolor are like two of my favorites. Much less than vanilla, yeah. It's just like less saturated. <laughs> You're dreading updating all the mods, honestly. I have no idea what it's going to be like. So much yellow, I know everything's so yellow toned. <laughs> it kind of like, I kind of get way more, I mean, I like, I like going out foraging anyway, because like, ground loot. But I've been um, a bit extra excited about it with this playthrough because all the new forage that there is to offer. You used, we're used to Minecraft mods having to be updated with updates. But Minecraft makes it easy to play different versions, yeah. I mean, there probably is a way. You know for a fact that the one life challenge is 99% going to break with 1.6. There's going to be like several mods because I know that some will be on it and some like won't have had a chance to do it beforehand. Probably going to take a little nap. I hope you have a good nap. I appreciate you coming to say hi as usual and I appreciate you um still listening. You finally got your CFS diagnosis. Oh my goodness. Trying to nap when your body tells you to. Honestly, it's one of those things that like once you know, you can start taking care of yourself like you know giving yourself the space to take oh i need my axe to take care of yourself um the way you feel you should if that makes sense but i'm really glad that you got the diagnosis like not that you have chronic fatigue syndrome like uh, not congratulations on that but congratulations that you got the aunts yeah you know what i mean i don't know why i'm trying <laughs> you, you know what i mean i don't know why i'm trying to explain myself i do this all the time but i think you know this about me already So how close do I have to be to these chests? Because I imagine that I've got the forage in... No, I don't. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So if I hover over, it tells me... Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. So all of that's just gone in here. Well, I'm going to keep the spring onions on me. And then let's go get the axe. I'm going to need to probably get some paths down pretty sharpish. However, to do that, I want more choice of paths than what I've got right now. You hope that they add multiplayer to Android? I just couldn't get along with mobile. Better than being unknown and not being listened to, honestly. Is it, the whole process is like very frustrating. So like when you actually get there, it's always a relief. <laughs> like a massive relief. Just like finding the right people to listen to you. And not just look at you and just decide, oh, you're too young. You can't have this problem. It's like, no, that's not how it works. <gasps> Yay. Another foraging level. You can't find anyone who can give an autism diagnosis to people over 10. The, how did I find? Depending on where you are, I guess, is the other thing. But over, like, you know, in the UK... If you f try to find um, an adult autism service, that can potentially be helpful. If that makes sense, it's like it, it ha it's like very specific. But honestly, fingers crossed that you managed to find somewhere. All right, let's ship some of these now that I've got like a few of each, just to get them done. No, wait. Oh, the shipping bin is a chest, but like, as in, it, it works like a chest until over. That's really cool. I was like, I was got really confused because I thought I um was going into the chest to like use a chest, and I was like, wait, because the reason I say that is because um in messed up Stardew I have a chest next to the shipping bin that I use, and I keep putting stuff in there by accident. What, what am I using for the chests? It's better chests. Oh, I haven't updated the description. I will do that after the stream. Oh, beach bridge is done. 
off the to-do list. Oh my god, what am I- <laughs> I know exactly what I'm doing. I just- <laughs> I just went to walk back to the community centre to sleep. This messed up Stardew. You haven't got it confirmed this past week? Oh my god, congrats. Honestly, yeah. No, no one is, like, too old. It's just, like, depending on where you are, right? As to who decides for whatever reason, even though it's wrong. Charcoal kiln and summer. Okay, we've got summer seed things ready, so that's good. Not like the one life challenge where I'm, like, scrambling for a foraging level to be able to plant forage. Please load. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna... Oh! Dog day. Well, I know what I'm naming the dog. I know what I'm naming the dog. You're a fan of Messed Up Stardew? Honestly, it's so much fun. I kind of want to, like, look at combining it with another game at some point. Because <laughs> I think that'll be really fun. The anxiety of a slightly too long loading screen is i'm not used to like the only time i've really had long loading screens was like messed up stardew and towards the end of stardew expanded but someone told me about i think it was sprite master and then you can just turn off the um like graphic effect thing and then it would just become just faster loading but obviously naming the dog chewy i can't not name this dog chewy your insurance said they would cover an ADHD test, so you got a referral from your GP, but then your insurance changed his mind. Are they allowed to do that? Could it just be the provider? They don't make it easy. That's rough. Dave the Diver on Switch. Every single loading screen takes a minimum of 30 seconds and you hate it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's a lot of Switch games, isn't it? Oh, it's Vincent's birthday today. Um, we'll find something to give him. I think he doesn't mind daffodils, right? He's actually okay with daffodils, which is, like, wild to me. Uh, I'm just looking at the situation in my chest, so... Do I want to plant more... I should. I should. I know I've got some seeds in a chest, but I want to save those, question mark. Let's make another 20. Uh... I mean, that was more than 20, but that <laughs> that came out to more than I was expecting. Wait, why is it 200? <gasps> Did I craft from the chest? No. Wait, what? I'm so confused. What's happened here? Why? Why are there so many? Wait, what? It did craft from the chest. I've lost, but I didn't have this many. I'm so confused. Well, I've lost all my daffodils now. Does it? It does craft from chest because I'm not holding this. Okay, I need to be careful. Can I turn that off? Wait. Uh. Uh. Give me a chest. Can I? No. I need to figure out to not do that, because I'm going to do that by accident all the time. But that's a lot- that's still more seeds than I thought it was going to be. I need to get in the settings. Ah, uh, okay. I need to be careful. I need to be careful. Because I think I've donated all my spring forage- well, yeah, I have. I have donated all the spring forage already, but if I didn't do that, I could sell the seeds for 8,000 gold. However, I need to plant- or oh, slash want to plant some. Oh no, I just reorganized my stuff in the wrong order. Well, that was very confusing. I definitely don't want to be able to craft from chests because that's good. That's just an accident waiting to happen for me. Go through the settings before using the better chest mod. Right, okay. Can I do that from the title screen? I think I should, right? Oh, wait, can I do it from here? Better chests. Aha, hello. Better shipping bin, chest finder. Craft from workbench distance, no. 
Absolutely not. Controls. Dash items. Oh, it does. It's supposed to work, but it didn't. Is it, maybe I'm not close enough. I just wanted to turn that off, basically. Um, Organize chest hide. I just wanted to see if you can carry them. That's fun. Craft and chest distance. Wait, this is the same. I'm going to turn it off there as well. Oh, that's cool. Configure all of them differently. Right, well, um, I, I want it to be default, which I suppose is going to be... Is default distance as in, like, Stardew default, or...? The actual distance being disabled is one more. Hi, Nita. I need to read. I need to read. Well, I guess there's a way to check it, right? Because I've done... Oh, I didn't save it. <laughs> okay, let's try again. So... I'll turn them all to default. Save and close. And then... I'm going to go into crafting, and now I can't craft. There we go. I've dra I dragged it, like, all the way. It won't go any further. First was workbench, second was chest. Oh, well, if it's from the workbench... Craft from workbench distance, right. Oh, wait, what? Okay. What? That, <laughs> that's like the opposite of what I thought it would be. I see now, I see now. Craft from workbench. I'm going to keep that somewhere because I haven't got a workbench yet. But from my inventory. Thank you. My brain is not braining. That is so confusing. Okay, well, we fixed that issue now. I've just used up all my daffodils annoyingly, but that's fine because I can go and get more. So I don't want to plant so much forage that I'm going to be like struggling. But do we think something went wrong here? Because there's no way I had this much forage. Should I reset the day and try again? I feel like I should reset the day because these feel illegal. I think I'm going to do that. Because I... I, I <laughs> yeah, but I didn't earn them. Keep them? Okay, hang on. Let me do a poll. Keep the seeds. Yes. No. Restart. <laughs> the last one. <struggle> you <laughs> they were just paying me in advance for like me getting confused about the chest. Keep half trash the rest. Fair. I think that's fair. We have a legal set. We do. There's no way. I did not have enough for 200 and something. There is no way. They said sorry about your daffodils. <laughs> um, HD Gamer, hello. I just got really confused about the better chess mod because I didn't know that you could craft from... <sighs> See, me trying not to spoiler stuff for myself, I should probably do for like... things that are gonna be not quality of life mods. Quality of life mods I probably should look at before, but I, my brain just doesn't always go there, you know? Okay, well, I'll end the poll there and I'll keep half and trash half and I think that's going to be fair. So it would have been 125 because I planted some. There we go. So I've kept half, I've trashed half, we've got them. Some. 
It's still more than I should have done, but <laughs> it also wasn't my fault. That was the most bamboozling thing I've ever had. <laughs> this is where I'm going to get a comment on the VOD being like, no, it does this because of that thing. So um, that'll be interesting. If, if, if anyone knows why that happened, let me know. Oh, rice. Take some rice. Yeah, at least they are common. It was like kind of the I wanted to be prepared type feeling, I guess. <laughs> you found yourself amid a controversy what happened. Um, so I harvested some forage and then I went to craft seeds out of the forage. I only took out as much forage into my inventory as I wanted to craft with. Not realizing that the better chest mod can craft from other chests. But when I crafted with them, it gave me 250 seeds. And I didn't have enough for that. I had maybe enough for like 60. So it shouldn't have made that many seeds. <laughs> and then I was trying to get my head around not crafting from the chest because that's going to give me issues. I'm still keeping the mithril feather. Okay. Right, leave the pickaxe here. I keep the sword on me in case I run into fiber. And the hoe, obviously, for... Oh, the rice. I forgot the rice. <laughs> that was so funny. Wait, no. My brain was already not working very well um, at the start of the stream, and then that just happened. It's fine. It, we, we recover. <laughs> right, I'm going to ship the unmilled rice. One of the unmilled rice. And then the rest in the chest. That rhymed. And I like it. Okay, let's go. We'll go and hunt a fresh daffodil for Vincent. I mean, I suppose it would have been fresh anyway. Like, you would have got one of the ones that were picked. Oh, there we go. The bus stop has got my back. Adriana, hello. Hello and hello. You subscribed not too long ago and have to say that watching the videos reignited your love for Stardew and have started replaying it again? Oh my god, I love this for you. I hope you're really enjoying it. Are you doing a modern playthrough or like a, a vanilla one? Good night, caffeinated egg. Thank you so much for hanging out. It was really good to see you. Steve. Steve. Steve Variet. Steve Stevariot. Sorry, I was trying to get my. It was a. It's a cool, cool, cool name, but it's like. I mean, I'm in where my brain isn't braining. Did I say that right? Steve Stavarius? Steve Steve? <laughs> 37 and a half grand head start will probably be a, be a better use. How will... Sort of, however... The way that the person who... Oh gosh, the name evades me. The person who made the mod said that, essentially, me finding a mithril feather on day one at the bus stop is the equivalent of finding a shiny Pokemon before you even hit the first town, which, like, to me, says keep it. So I'm going to keep it. Most things, like, until I get a second one, I'm not going to sell it. I said it right. Okay, cool. Expanded is good. I highly recommend. Or even just start a new playthrough with Expanded. I'm assuming Vincent's already here, yeah. Daffodil for you. Enjoy the birthday gift. I always forget about Vincent until later, to be honest, though. So. <laughs> Enjoying it as if it's the very first time, honestly. When it comes to... I mean, I know you haven't, mess you haven't met, uh, mentioned Expanded, but... Steve with Expanded. I would give anything to experience Stardew Expanded for the first time. Like, do you have those games? And I think I've said this before, but like months ago. And um, I know that... Quite a few of you are new here. If there's a game or a mod that you could go back in time to experience for the first time again, what would that be? Because for me, it's Stardew Valley Expanded. Also, Pikmin 4. Pikmin 4. I tried playing... So Michael surprised me with Pikmin 1 and 2, the like double pack, the other day. And I've played some of... Um, some of Pikmin 1, but like after playing number 4... It was really hard for me. So I started playing two and I'm enjoying it a lot more. Final Fantasy 9. Gonna be a first expander, so you, you, 
you hope you'll enjoy oh you will enjoy you will enjoy um any tips i prioritize making friends with the new npcs i would say Ooh, what are you a button mushroom you're kind of adorable a small white mushroom that is not matured to the point of opening its cap they have a crisp texture becoming more tender as it cooks I'm going to start like looking at the descriptions for these things as well because I realise they're also like all the work that gets put into even like that part of it. Never ending adventure, East Club, you absolutely love Mateo. Dragon Age Inquisition, you kill to experience again for the first time. Hollow Knight and Skyrim, Outriders, Minecraft. All the new forage is so much fun. I love just finding stuff on the ground and like, oh, what's this? Lots of um, lots of dopamine. <laughs> Golden Sun. It was a wild ride to experience when knowing nothing about the twist and Oh, also, um, hello back to your mum. I saw the message, but my brain was doing a lot of things at the same time, and I had it in my head, but I didn't say it out loud. So hello, and I hope she's okay. Oh, James, you're in for a great time with Traveler's Rest. Sonic Adventure 2. Golden Sun. I'm going to have to look at what that is because I don't actually think I've heard of it. I'm trying to think if there's any other games. I think it, it really is just mainly Pikmin 4 and Stardew Expanded. Uh, Golden Sun. I haven't heard of. Last few updates have been amazing. I really want to look at them, but I like want to be able to give them enough time, which I haven't had. And it's like also I'm gonna. I think it's also the struggle of like repicking up something I haven't played in a while and being like overwhelmed. Oh yeah, I forgot that's that cave. And like having to relearn it again, especially when it's changed so much. short hike i still haven't played that um let's use the minecart i want to go in the cave and see if there's any fun fruit for us maybe we'll go do some community center donations today since pierre's is closed not this cave wait this is a, this is a different cave right did i see a minecart wait uh, i forgot my way around the map <sighs> the room i haven't heard of that oh it's this cave isn't it <gasps> give me that dandelion supposed to drop to the UBA virtual console for switch at some point ah okay ah it's this one this one so i guess the other cave i should opt for mushrooms right because i've already got fruit in this one Layla, hello how you doing skylines 2 enjoyed it but need to make more time to play it i liked the first one but i didn't play it too much has anyone seen uh power world by the way Speaking of upcoming games, well we weren't really speaking of upcoming games, but now speaking of upcoming games, has anyone seen slash given any thought to Power World? Where is this? This is my personal cave. Ah, oh, my inventory is full. This is your favourite Stardew song? It's a very good song. You got in depth and you don't know if you'd want to do that again. Yeah, but the feeling of like, you know when you finish it and it's like... Why is it over? It's Power the one with guns, yeah, it is. But like, for me, it's not the gun aspect that I'm like, ooh, what's that? It's the, um... Like the... Oh, let's get the artisan bundle stuff in the chest. It's the base building kind of aspect of it. I'm gonna need a specific fruit chest, I think, at some point. Um, so Z is meant to work, but for some reason it isn't, so I guess it must be bound to another key. Modded forage. Did I put... Okay, cool. But yeah, daffodil not going into the chest because I freaking used them all. Right. We will 
go donate some stuff actually so maybe i leave the spring onions here because i don't need to bring them with me also i need to finish grabbing everything out of that cave and brain's it in Novi. Your current challenge is playing through Stardew without all the cheaty mods. You've got this, you can do this. Yeah, th there are a lot of um, very similar things to Pokemon. I feel like for me, it feels like a cross between Pokemon and Ark, which are two things I love. It only works to add to existing stack. Um, so it was, I, I pressed Z with a load of forage in my inventory that already had stacks in a chest because when I clicked this button it worked and I was standing in the same place. What did I do with the extra forage seeds? We decided I was going to keep half and trash half. I really just emptied my entire inventory for two water plums, didn't I? <laughs> you inspired by streamers, you've got this, you've all got this. No, it's all, it's all good. Like uh, The um, convenient inventory thing is still like pretty perfect and also very satisfying. I would love some rain at some point as well. Have I got... no. Oop. Okay. Let's see what we can go and drop off. So I think I'm going to prioritize like these. And um, I mean, I suppose all of it. <laughs> really? I think the artisan bundle can be finished, you know. Foxglove, you don't go here. You're a bun modded forage. You do not belong in that chest. I'm trying to figure out what I want to prioritize. I guess I'll leave the summer forage one for now. What map is this? Waterfall Forest Farm. Should be linked in the description. The only mods that aren't linked will be the chest mod, the convenient inventory and the backpack mod that I haven't got around to put it in the description yet. <laughs> oh, Linus cutscene. I mean, Ridgeside. Yeah, that's a lot. That is a lot. Don't be still in the trash. I want the trash too, Linus. Every time you finish an anime, you wish you could forget it and watch it again. I still haven't got into anime. Sounds like these raccoons are back at it again. Filthy varmints. Leave them alone, they're just hungry. You turned up at the right moment, miss. Could you do an old man a favour? Could you go around the corner and scare off those raccoons for me? They've been, cause they've been causing a real mess. Thanks. Make sure you give them a good scare so they never come back. What if they like just like turn on me and start attacking me? You just finished the entire artisan bundle with fruit from the fruit cave. That is usually the route I tend to go. Legend Finn, thank you so much for becoming a strawberry. Welcome to the berry basket. Enjoy your probus emotes and thank you so much. Oh my god, I'm so excited for 1.6. I'm so excited. It was me. I'm sorry. It's cool, it's cool, Linus. I dig in the trash all the time. I find a lot of hot, fresh food in these cans. Stuff that'll go to waste if I don't take it. How is it, like, staying hot? How? Do you think there's something wrong with what I'm doing? No, it's a shame for good food to go to waste. Thanks, Emma. I knew you were an open-minded person. I feel good about what I'm doing. I'm not harming anyone. Oh, that reminds me. I meant to post a um, picture of some breakfast wraps I made yesterday. Siri, thank you so much for upgrading to Cranberry. Oh my goodness. Welcome to the Cranberry Club. If you're in the Discord, you now have a super special channel. Um, if your Discord's linked to your YouTube account, it, sh it should automatically give you that. Thank you so much. I very much appreciate it. How is it staying fresh? Honestly, unless he like just comes by every night, like just after dinner. Linus was the first NPC you reached 10 hearts with. I think same. I think same. Just an old guy. Hello, welcome in. You can go home. I promise I won't rubbish in George's can anymore. You can tell him he scared off the raccoons for good. I should probably stop talking through cutscenes. 
Sometimes I was just letting my brain do the brain thing. I'm going to skip this part of the cutscene because clearly I'm not focused. <laughs> Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl had not heard of that. Pam was your first? Oh, was it Pam or Linus? It was one of those two. It was either Pam or Linus because obviously, like, they're pretty easy to, like, get gifts to. You get the cut. It is a cute part of the the, the cutscene. However, it's not one that like gives me any friendship. <laughs> oh, I didn't put the crab in the crab pot bundle. It's just because they're like easy to get with uh, get to. Close to ten with Shane, Pam, Caroline, your current, but focus on getting to Ginger Island before year two on console. You can do this. I've only got. Where is it? Full foraging. Have that. Linus is awesome. Um, garden bundle. And then artisan bundle. Oh my god. We are two, two items short. So if I get these two fruit at some point, then we are good to go. I was hoping to maybe have that one finished, but I guess not. You don't care too much about the friendship points in the cutscenes, you just love every character so much. I love that. Honestly, before I started playing Stardew more, I was a serial cutscene skipper. If I'm being honest, I was not very good at like sitting through them. And I wasn't very good at making friends with the NPCs either. In fact, like the first time I played, I think it was my first 100 days of Stardew Expanded, I was skipping a lot of cutscenes that weren't the... I'm just shoving some socks on because I'm cold. Um, I was skipping a lot of cutscenes that weren't like the expanded ones and even those I hadn't really watched. And I did get quite a few comments on it like, you don't understand these references because you don't watch the cutscenes and it's like, okay, yeah, fair enough. I should probably start doing that. And then I did. And I was very grateful that I started doing that. But sometimes, depending on what the focus of the series is, I can't make myself do it for like a hundredth time, you know? You accidentally married Alex? How does that happen? <laughs> How you doing, Scott? <laughs> Spreading weeds cause damage. How dare they? No, they didn't. Why are you lying? Why are you lying for? Robin's axe, we can help. That gives us another couple of strawberry seeds. Got a couple more new crops. Okay. Uh... So it's a decent luck day, I'm probably going to mine today. So what am I going to need? Mainly just these two things, also those and my spring onions. Let's get the uh, crops watered first. I'm going to have so much watering to do soon. Brock, thank you so much for the six euro super chat. Thank you so, so much. You're watching the first stream to catch up, but you hope it's uh, but you hope it's fun. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy it too. I'm having so much fun with this mod. I love things that are like, you know, loads of items, loads of extra stuff to do. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying exploring it. And um, what was really cool is in the mod makers comment, I forget like the exact detail of things. But it was something about like, because someone asked in the last stream, what kind of a person makes a mod like this? And um, it basically said it was during lockdown, essentially, and they had a lot of like culinary knowledge. So that's where all the um, prop things come from. So like, you know, fun, f fun fact also, 
the daffodils in this would actually be poisonous. Does it? Yeah, look. So minus 25 energy. Instead of being zero, they're actually poisonous. Um, because they're poisonous in real life. So I thought that was a really cool, like, little detail. Harvey and Alex were both coming back from Ginger Ryan when you went to give Harvey the mermaid pendant. Alex took it instead. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Kaylee, hello! Got out of your last class of the day. I hope your day went well. Right, I brought a lot of food here. Have I shipped? No. I mean, yes. Let's go to the mines. This is the wrong way. One day I'll get my bearings. Must pet the dog. I say one day I'll get my bearings. It'll probably be in like two months. Hayley was your first married. Alex was mine, no regret. <laughs> Just very bland. I don't know. You were locked out of your office for a bit because your boss forgot to tell you the code. Oh no. In the game months or real life months? Probably real life months. I feel like, yeah, two real life months would probably be... Uh, actually, it's kind of similar, right? Because we got through just over a week. You can tell when I'm looking at chat when I'm start running into a wall. <laughs> okay, let's um, put everything in here that we don't need to bring down there. Let's also smelt some copper. And um, get in there. I think I'm going to leave... No, I'm going to bring all my food with me because I'm going to need it. Probably just eat all these three spring onions. Give me the space back. So on character for Harvey and I... <laughs> Yeah, Alex, literally, like, clearly you meant me. Whoa, before I leave. Give me the trash loot. Wow, look at all the- Oh, there's this ore. Some salt. Um, first of all, I meant to zoom out. Second of all, I meant to use the elevator, because we have at least one elevator. This is Night Market. This song. I feel weird not setting off, um... A new copper bar. What was I doing again? Okay, using the elevator. There we go. 15. I'm excited about it too. Someone actually left a comment on the last VOD saying like, you're probably going to have time to marry and divorce a lot of people. Why don't you do that? I don't know if I want to do that yet. I, want, I don't know if I want to like save it for each playthrough. Plus like, what if I grow attached to? Uh, we'll see what happens at the time. Can I just like not have this rusty sword anymore? Because it sucks. It's so frustrating, like, the amount of times you have to hit those bugs. When they group up like that, it's better. I need to get them into a corner. Like this. I was hoping for a cheeky ancient seed. Um, the other mod I'm not sure if I want to use that someone had mentioned is the better mix seeds one, because... If I use it, I'd have to configure it to not accidentally get endgame crops right at the beginning. Because I just don't feel like that's the way I want to play. Gonna find a forest sword, yes. I, I like this energy. You play it when you're in your reading nook? Oh my god, that's the perfect like reading song. I don't like I don't even like reading and it makes it appealing for me. I can marry them all. I don't know what I want to do yet, because I kind of like, I like the idea that like, this playthrough was for this person, I don't know. Other than obviously when I did the whole like, Joja thing with Clara Morris. But I mean, come on, it had to be Morris, right, for Joja. You will not turn into a real bug. I haven't used it yet, maybe I should. Grab that amethyst. I think it's also my first. I also walked past a lot of quartz, which, oh well. Oh, I love the fact that you can just pick one up in expanded. 
You go for separate playthroughs as well? Yeah, I, th I think that's like how I usually like to do things. It's probably what I'm still going to do. We'll see what happens, I guess, when we get to it, because obviously we're still quite a ways off being able to do that. Fit this with all the extra items, all the extra spouses too. <laughs> Oh, I got a rice shoe. Oh, I don't really need that. Uh, I did want trash, but I don't need that trash. So I will not take that trash. I also kind of want the topaz. Oh, what am I going to not take with me? This is a problem. Oh, level up. Give me that. So maybe we just do this. Then I don't have to be upset about losing the bomb. Don't really need the slime right now. Uh, there we go. Give me the fiber though. You're doing a playthrough with over 300 mods, including Rapidex. Oh my goodness, good luck. Don't have time for playthroughs for multiple spells. Does that make sense? Um. Well, this is a problem. Maybe I just have to say goodbye to... You know, I could probably eat the spring onions. Give me them. I've still got two more floors to go. Oh, no. Oh, it's a spiral floor. Why? I hate the spiral floors. With... Oh. It's over. It's fine. Right, I'll come back for the reward because... We're going to shuffle this away and I think... I might have gone remixed on the bundles, so I don't even know what <laughs> Um Apologies about that. I'm still needing to wipe my PC. I still haven't had a chance to do it. So th there was a weird lag there. It wasn't just you. It was my it was on my end because my entire everything just did that. So I'm very sorry about that. Um Hopefully it doesn't happen much. It's just like it does it at random, no specific trigger. <laughs> I really need to wipe this PC. It's been a bit funky for a while. You're surprised I haven't done a loot goblin playthrough with automate and chess anywhere. I I have on my list a loot goblin playthrough. It didn't include those mods though, interestingly. I probably should include those mods, but um I I have ideas for it, put it that way. The th that's the thing is like cuz the struggle is not being able to make everything at once. I can only do so like Rapidax, realistically. I've been looking at it since Island Artisan, which that was well over a year ago. So it's taken this long to be able to get around to playing it. And like I feel like a loot, you know, a loot goblin run is inevitable. Just take everything. Chess anywhere was definitely um, suggested for this one, but I didn't want to... <gasps> Special slime. I didn't want to do it for this one. Can I just like back you into a corner, please? Make my life easier. I was kind of hoping for a weapon in that chest, not going to lie. I mean, the magnet ring is good. Like, it's really good, but... it th Those were not my hopes and dreams for that particular moment. Aha! This is basically no better two to fight i'll try it out we'll see how it goes i think the rusty sword's gonna stay though annoyingly well i have a bit more crit chance right board everything but then how do i make any money i suppose farming um i was also toying with the idea of a special one time of like a hundred days of just skull caverns but i have to unlock skull caverns and like after skull caverns i can only make money slash progress from ah oh, coal node from skull caverns related items so i feel like that would fit in nicely with being a loot goblin you know okay maybe that was better oh dougie give me something good like a i don't know need to watch my health uh let's eat the field snack
Minimum of 100 of each item before selling except for the rare items. Oh. Yeah, depending on what it is, like have rules for... I need to be able to keep track of that though somehow. Oh, it's two Duggies, that's why. That's why I was getting confused. Thank you for the help. Let's go. Trash node. Also, loot crates. Can't not do loot crates. What trash would I like to prioritize? All of it, unfortunately. Need to start one life for yourself. It looks so fun. Honestly, it is it, it's so much fun. It's scary and difficult, but it's so much fun. If you like scary and difficult, I recommend. Damn it. One turned into a bug. Okay, that's fine. Trying not to die so early on. Trying to see if there's anything worth it in these chests. So far the answer is no. I mean the litter I'm probably gonna accumulate more of, but it just feels wrong, you know. Which trash is the best trash? I don't know at this point, but apparently it's gonna become important later. So I wanna make sure I keep it. I don't know what it's for yet. Do not tell me. We will find out. There is a topaz though, I probably should prioritize a topaz. Okay, you know what? Oh, I've killed the slime so I can go in the adventurer's guild now. This is a lot of flies. Go away. Leave me alone. You're mean. You're mean and I don't like you. There we go. <gasps> forest sword! Thank you to whoever said about the forest sword. Absolutely. Absolutely. There we go. That freed up an entire other slot. Oh, I do want to keep the fiber though. Bug me because I've got some. Stop giving me everything except for the thing I need. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so Sage, thank you so much. It's going to help me a lot. Oh, that's a fun new node. What have you got? Oh, it's just a rock salt again. Uh, I hate this. I hate this a lot. I think I've got a topaz already. Oh, it's just more rock salt. I think I've got enough of that. I'll leave that. Freaking win. I don't have much in the way of food left, so that's not ideal. Maybe I leave the mining for today now. Um, do I have enough? I think I might go get more stone. Which is funny because I've just got rid of loads of stone. But the reason I want to get it is because I want another... I want another furnace. What's Palea? It's um an, a cosy MMO. So it's a, it's a multiplayer game where you're online with lots of other people and you can farm, fish, you can craft, you can build and decorate a home. Lots of fun stuff. You haven't touched Stardew in weeks because of <laughs> It's so good. It's so good. Did I already have a Windspire? I guess I must have already had this. Anyway, let's go to the Adventurer's Guild. Maybe I can just sell that. Whilst we're at it. Uh, anything else I want to take home? I mean, I need to leave some room in my inventory for... Um, like, in case I pick up anything on the way home. In a bit, can't see. I should still be here. Uh, let's get rid of that. Open this so the question mark can go away. Oh, the bug catching. Yes. I love the bug catching. I mean, hey, if you're if you're considering Palea, it's free. So, you know, no harm just giving it a try. They've added a lot to the game since I've played it. When I last played it, they had one, like, bundle room essentially open. 
And since then they've added more and they've added like more temples and like parkour courses and things like that. There's a lot of really good stuff on it to do. There's so much to do on it. And the NPCs, you can um, befriend them, you can marry them, I think. Some of them, not all of them. Yeah, hello! You're late, hello! You're, you're all good, you're all good. It's good to see you. I'm glad you can make it. Yeah, I didn't have a topaz yet. Oh, Robin's axe. I completely forgot about that. So, boop. There we go. Get back to bed. Is it still in beta? I think it is and it will be for a long time, but they might have fixed whatever the crashing issue is in that time, because obviously they're... I mean, that's the point of the beta, is they're actively trying to work on that stuff. Go to the merchant. Egg festival tomorrow. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Give me all the strawberries. So maybe I do just sell, like... Some of these seeds. I'm gonna sell some for the strawberries tomorrow. I would love if this cauliflower can hurry up for the spring crops bundle to be done. Yours crashes once every day or so, but it saves. Yeah. I think, like, I definitely experienced crashes, but I didn't experience them, like, a wild amount. I think the most that I got stuck in Paleo was, like, sometimes I got stuck with the dialogue being open and I couldn't, like, close it. I had a lot of nightmares last night, so you're enjoying the vibes? Oh, no, I'm so sorry, that's rough. It's horrible when sleep's, like, interrupted like that. Sometimes when I'm, like, thinking too much about things I have to do, I also dream of those, and it's like... It's not even any different, but it's like, it's a nightmare in the fact that I wake up and I haven't done it. So, like, this morning, I was like... So yesterday, I was like, okay, I really want to wash my hair in the morning. Uh, Tulip, I think I've already donated. Yes. Duck mayo. Can I use that? No. Whoa, there's more stuff here. Bay leaf, that's fun. Oh, coffee bean, I can't afford it. Cave carrot, community center. I'm, I'm not paying 800 gold for something I can find pretty easily. Uh, eel. I might get the eel, so I don't have to fish for it. Kinda tempted by that, I think I will. I mean, it's fishing and I'm avoiding it. Coconut, I probably could have done with. Okay, you know what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to go home and I'm going to sell those seeds directly to Pierre. You can be blue screened. I'm so sorry. That's rough. That's horrible. But yeah, no, yeah. So yesterday I said right tomorrow morning as in today i really have to wash my hair so um woke up and washed my hair and like you know sorted it out and stuff and um then i woke up and i hadn't actually washed my hair yet and i was like oh i still have to do that do i have a paleo community yes however i don't i probably don't recommend joining it because i don't play it much um so like I don't know how well used it's gonna be. Um, the shipping bin, yes. So I can literally just <laughs> we're all good on that front. Can I donate these on the way? No, there's not really any point. I'm gonna keep right. I'll sell a hundred. We'll keep the rest. Actually, I need to keep an even number, so a hundred and one. Even number in case of tea saplings.
you've got this. I hope, um, even if the schedule's like a lot, that you manage to eventually settle into it okay. The reason I say about like, it's not that I don't want people to join the Paleo community that we've got, but like, it's more that there'll be other communities out there that will be better with like, helping each other out because I literally don't really play it at the moment. Honestly, I don't want to accidentally sell something, so. Right, it's really tempting. <laughs> okay, so I need 600 for... Thinking. Right, <laughs> I'm asking you guys. Backpack upgrade, yes or no? Now or later? Now, later. The reason I say that is because like, so we've got we've got strawberry seeds to buy tomorrow. I suppose I should wait for that and just do it then, right? But I'm going to start the poll anyway. I've got to buy coconut. So that would leave me with the equivalent of like 16 seeds. <laughs> I'm trying to fight the loot goblin in me. So um, I need you. I need your help. Would I ever consider playing more paleo on the channel? At the moment, I don't. It's like I never say never. But... I don't know at the moment, if I'm honest, just because like so many other things going on, you know. I mean, it's not many that really that many things going on at the same time, but I don't know how to describe it. Do I use Smappy? I do use Smappy. No, I don't know. Oh no, is my poll not working? It says you have an audience of loot goblins. My pulse is zero votes. <laughs> so I don't know what the result is. <laughs> I was thinking there's no way that like no one's um like voting. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why it's not. YouTube. Okay, maybe I need to refresh my page. Hang on. Let me refresh. Let me refresh. It still says zero votes. <laughs> Does it do, is it is it working for anyone else? It's not working. Should I redo it? Okay, can you can you just like can we vote by typing in the chat now or later on the backpack? And well whatever in the next like I don't know, like oh here we go. We've got the results. We've got the results. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> you never play Terraria, it looks so fun. Your roomie has it on the Xbox, so you have to try it out. Honestly, do it, however, I will say it is harder on controller, for me at least. Sergeant Ducky, hello! I mean, the poll, I don't know if you can see the results in the poll there, but it's it's 67 to 32. So we're, go we're going with now, and also most of the things... Okay. We must. We must. Um. <laughs> Justify it by selling two spring onions. <laughs> I do indeed remember. The loot goblin life chose me, okay? And hey, I mean, you all chose that for me. Not my fault. <laughs> Trash bread! I need to be able to point and click. <gasps> Someone's littering! How dare they? Jazz, was it you? <laughs> You already said Luke Goblin. <laughs> Almost to you. I know that there were some of you wanting to be sensible, but um. <laughs> hey, I mean, I'm happy with this decision. <laughs> I do still need to buy this coconut though. And hey, I mean, I can pick up more forage now without going home first. If you're used to it, it's probably way but Yeah, there is that. Right, so I definitely don't already have one, do I? No. Of course I don't. Why would I have one? What What kind of a question is that? But also I can I can probably figure some stuff out to to ship for tomorrow. Right? Hopefully. Coffee bean. I would have got the coffee bean, but it's too expensive. 
I could have afforded it. I could have afforded it if I didn't buy a backpack. <laughs> Not even sorry. Nanny, hello. Welcome in. Oh yeah, the axe. Here we go. Um, have I shipped the spring seeds? No, I took them to Pierre's to be able to afford the coconut and then the backpack was in front of me and um, yeah, that happened. Easy to get in the mines. Oh yeah, that's a good point. It's a good point. Fish for money? But fishing. But it's fishing. <laughs> yes, me. I'm very tired. I've inadvertently like stayed up too late the past couple of days, like very much not on purpose. Did not mean to at all. Right, let's have a look what we're going on here. So I have enough for another set of seeds. I could just do that. That there's some um and i've probably got some other things i can sell like the trash bread for example so we'll do that even though it's not very much and then we'll go and give the axe back as well that'll give us a couple more yeah this is true all right fine <laughs> Okay, let's leave the trash behind first. I mean, hey, I've got more space in my inventory now for, uh, for stuff. I'll leave the pickaxe here, though. I don't need that. I've only got a training rug, but it's still, like, something. So I'm assuming Robin's still at home. Yeah. Let's get up there. And maybe we'll fish over there, too. It's a good place to fish. Wrong way... Check the beach when it rains. Okay. We'll have to wait for some rain. I need some rain in my life. Also, it's a good luck day. What if we get some good treasure? You can still get treasure with the training rod, right? I struggle without mods. <laughs> Freaking love mods. It is a problem. I was watching... um. I don't know if you've all seen Easy Lily's recent video about like different types of Stardew player. And as soon as she said the mod junkie, I was like, oh, did you have to call me out like that? <laughs> I feel attacked. Oh no. <laughs> Hello, Robin. You're sweet. Oh my God. Why am I so tired? I've literally just had... Before the stream, I chugged the rest of my, um, I had a coffee and matcha. It's a good video. It's a really good video. Maybe one day you'll be brave enough to try a mod. Bunker's busy. If you're going to do it with anything, I urge you to give Expanded a go. It's just so good. It's just so good. Thank you for the uh, the axe money. Um, hang on. Where is it? There we go. Ten types of statue. The, I mean, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, I don't know. Probably, probably the min maxer, but not in the way of like min maxing in the game, but like having to find a way to kind of do that in a way with challenge mods, if that makes sense. 
<clears throat> Fishing, that's what we're doing. I completely forgot what I was doing. Your whole water's back? Oh! You've been, like, missing stuff for a while, haven't you? Crypto Valley, hello, welcome in. Can't live without mods, honestly. You afraid of the technology and how much your laptop can handle? If you get stuff like um there there are mods that pair well to help with load times if that if that helps. I suppose like it is quite kind of a heavy mod. I think there is. I need to be careful with that stuff. I don't know how like if YouTube's gonna yell at me for it. Like, I don't know if I just have, like, one stream at some point in the distant future. Where I deal with all of that kind of stuff for perfection. Kind of knowing that there's a chance that it might get demonetized. <laughs> like, maybe I just, like, wait and do it all in one. So it's just, like, one that's impacted. to game on a MacBook. <laughs> you and your husband love the videos you call me Eminem because I talk fast like Eminem. English is not your first language so it's fun to hear it fast like I talk. I, <laughs> I talk at ADHD pace. I have talked fast my entire life, like my entire life. However, obviously like since that first 100 days video, I feel like I've got a lot better. Although I do end up tripping on my words pretty often because my brain goes faster than so if you think i talk fast that's like the thoughts have slowed down enough for me to get the words out of my mouth so like imagine then like the speed of the words that are in my brain <laughs> if that makes sense you're the kind of person who starts a new file for the fresh start feel and annoyed by how much you have to grind to get decent gameplay oh see i love the beginner grind i love the entire process i feel yeah i feel like i have slowed down a lot because like as much as um on that first video even then i got quite a lot of um comments that are obviously a lot of comments that said like oh my god you're speaking so quickly but then i also got just as many comments that were like I'm confused by the comments about the fast talking because I still speed up the video. <laughs> um, and a lot of people saying that like that that pace for them and their ADHD like makes sense for them. But um I still want like I would like for more people to be able to understand and enjoy the content without having to manually slow it down. So if I just take a second to like slow down how I speak, and don't get me wrong, I like I do lose track sometimes. Like I think in the set, like in the few videos after that, I feel like there were some points in those videos where it was kind of obvious where I'd like started speeding up again and then realized and then like slowed down again. People don't understand you because of that. Honestly, I get that all the time. The amount of times I've heard someone say I have no idea what you just said to me. <laughs> but I think it's like, obviously now that I understand more about ADHD over time, it's like, that is literally the pace my brain is going at. You're just getting the um, thoughts out at the rate that your brain is giving them to you, you know? You got a bachelor's degree in not one, but two languages, but can you talk? No. <laughs> I've forgotten all the languages I learned at school. Editing cuts close? Yeah, that, that was also, an, it was kind of both at the time, where I like cut them too close together. <laughs> Fishing level! Didn't finish the community center until year nine. I mean, hey, you took the time to like 
play the game at your pace, you know? That's like the best thing about this game is like no one says you have to complete it in a certain amount of time. Like enjoy the game how you enjoy it. He used to fast talkers. Yay, fishing? This is hurting my soul. <laughs> Using one of the languages you learned at school right now. I've got nearly everything in French and Latin. I learned French and German at school. I also tried to learn Mandarin, uh, but that was like a outside of school, like other lessons, but the lessons were more for like there were a couple of people who were my age and older at the time doing it, like there was even a couple of adults in the class, but the, the class was kind of more aimed at people who already spoke Mandarin and were more just learning to read and write, that were like kids. So I didn't really absorb anything. Oh god, thank you so much for becoming a strawberry, welcome to the berry basket, enjoy your Krobus emotes, thank you so so much. Cool. While, while, while I'm here, why don't I just donate these? That would be smart, wouldn't it? Oh, I love the beginning of making kegs. Right. Where is the lake fish? There. There we go. You watch them on 1.5. See, for me, it depends on what I'm watching. Um, most videos I play at normal speed. But if it's like, I really need a tutorial for something. Oh, the chip time for her. If I need a tutorial, a lot of the time I will speed it up. Yeah, I accidentally left um, the all bundles thing on. This is like a running theme because it's not a smappy mod. It's like a you change the bundles file out of the game files. This is the issue we had in Perfection Before Christmas as well. Pelusia, thank you so much for hanging out. Rainy Brewster, hello! How you doing? Does the mod add bundles to all of the CC rooms? Yes, so what it does is um, it, it's essentially like an entirely new bundles file. So the you, what you need to do at the beginning ideally is pick the uh, what's it called? need to pick the regular bundles not the remixed ones because it adds the remixed ones well that even i mean <laughs> i mean it didn't add that much money but that's okay that's okay it's fine it's because i only have a training rod which is like entirely my fault oh let's put that in a chest before i forget is there anything here i can sell some of because i've got a few of certain things the black bamboo seems important to me, so I'm going to keep that. But these... Oh, mm. oh. I'll sell one of each of them. Just for shipping, you know? And the one horse radish I'm carrying, because why not? The shamrock I'm going to keep. I feel like that's a fun item. Just because I like it. So, um, yeah. But the Raffidax one adds more extra bundles on top of these ones that are related to the Raffidax item. Let's jump in and have a good dinner party. I hope you enjoy it. And thank you so much again for becoming a strawberry and hanging out as well. How did I get the feather items? I found them on the ground. <laughs> yeah, regular fish. Is it was a good. Nope, this was worth it though, because now I can make bait for when I need it. It's still worth I still need to do it. And I got two more things in the community center, so. Honestly, yeah. I mean, hey, I got seven more strawberries. Um, I started playing Stardew because I was watching a lot of Stardew content. So, it, you know, it's a very normal thing. Forage. Right, we'll test the seed making again. Oh, the cauliflower as well. So that's going to finish a bundle for us. We now have all of the spring props so i definitely only have 
Yeah, I can make two lots. So if I... Yeah. So something definitely went wrong there. Somehow. I don't know what exactly happened. What's going on here? I started selling panes of glass a little while ago. You can use them to craft certain machines. Since I'm now selling them, I'll also buy any glass panes you make if you put them in your shipping chest before bed. You can recycle glass shards into panes of glass. Okay. I've also started carrying a few new production tools and a couple of exotic varieties of wood. What is this? Stop by next time you're near the mountain. We need to catch up. Blanching powder and beeswax. New stuff. Oh, perfect timing for an extra 500 gold. I'm going to leave the forage out for now because um, we're going to have a lot of watering to do after this. Well, that's fun. So I guess I'll put these crafty things... I kind of want to make a new chest, but they'll go in here for now. You had porridge. <laughs> oh, I would love some porridge right now. What did you get from Kent, May? What games do I like to play besides Stardew? Um, Dreamlight Valley, Disney Dreamlight Valley, uh, Ark Survival Evolved. At the moment, I'm playing Pikmin 2. Will the chess mod be linked after stream? Yes, I'm going to update the um, list after stream. I completely forgot about that, so that's my bad. But it will be updated on this VOD. Amber, hello, how you doing? Not to shout, oh no. That's rough. Unless you needed it for some, I mean, like community center, perhaps? Maybe? I'm playing Pikmin 2, not on stream, but like off stream. It's my like chill game. Also, I'm playing Terraria every Monday. On here. And that's a lot of fun. Sergeant Ducky, that is such a cool idea for a mod. You just like get more exhausted as time goes on. Can you imagine if... Okay, imagine if someone made a mod for chronic fatigue syndrome. Can you imagine that? Like... Doing more in a day makes you even more exhausted. I mean, I suppose, like, when you get exhausted, you get the debuff in the morning or whatever. But, like, the difference is you can't heal it, so you'll just be slow. For, like, the next... And it's, like, a random amount of days. And maybe sometimes you need to sleep through multiple days. <laughs> yeah, so, so, someone make a mod for... Yes, it's pix it is pixel art. It's really, really good. I, I highly recommend it. Right, what am I going to do in the time before the thing? The uh, uh, festival. What I'm going to do is let's water. So there's 10 spaces here. If I pre-water them for when I get back. Um, 14, 15. I need... 17 18 so i need 29 that's a lot of spaces good the minecraft oh my god not not the phantoms not the phantoms you have a spoons meter yes and some days you don't get to pick how many spoons some days you'll just like wake up and have like one but i suppose it'll be like your spoons meter is equivalent to your energy, right? So maybe it's just like you kind of wake up with a random amount of energy and you can do things to help it, but you can't always control it. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. That should cover us for strawberries. Are you being efficient? Terraria is so good, highly worth it. I will say, if you are if you have multiple options for things like consoles and PC and stuff, pick PC. If, and if you need to pick a console and you have a Switch, pick Switch out of the consoles because of the touch screen for building. Oh, look at all this stuff to pick up on the way. I can't not grab all this. Strawberry time indeed. Spoons meter is a good idea. I wonder how like you could spend your spoons and have it separate from energy or something. Oh, we're going to talk to everyone as well for the friendship points because I actually need them now. And... Oh, there's actually some cute stuff here. I've never really paid attention. I really want this banner at some point. Okay, anyway. Stuff that I need. 
29 strawberries. 29 strawberries and all the friendship points. Well, I forage at the beach after. I don't know if I'm going to have time. I may do. But I have been a couple of times in the week already. So, at least it's not like 100% of the forage is there. Plus, I need to get these. We'll see what happens once I've got the um, forage down. Uh, the, the strawberry seeds. <laughs> The thing is, I'm kind of like, I mean, it is still worth me getting the friendship points. It's just, I'm kind of like, what if I just ignore these people and then was this a waste of time, you know, like real life time? Like, do I just wait for the, for the friendships until I'm actively working on it? I don't, I just wait to Marlon. I'm so used to that from Expanded. Right, let's just do it. Let's just do it. How many eggs do we think I'm going to get today? You just like doing it. I mean, being polite, you know, I'm just um socially anxious. <laughs> right, what route do I want to take today? This one. I know where I don't go. 13, 12, 11, 12. Let's do this. There's so many eggs, like, over time that I've learned exist that I didn't know existed before. So that's kind of nice. And I know that I missed some in certain areas, but the amount of time it takes me to go over there and get it when I could just, like, get other ones. Like, multiple other ones in that amount of time. Not worth it. Stay out of my way, Jazz. I can do this. I can do this. I always get stuck behind Lewis's house. <laughs> I will take a th Sam! <laughs> 13. All of them. I could never get all of them. I have two routes. It depends on what I'm feeling. Sometimes I go up and right and sometimes I go like today down and left. Look at all those eggs. Now if only I could get you kids to pick up the litter in this- uh, pick up litter this efficiently, we'd have the cleanest town this side of the gem sea. See, this dialogue line actually makes sense in this mod because... Like... There is actually litter on the ground. I appreciate you all believing in me. 13 eggs, I'm happy with that. And hey, first hat. Let's go. <laughs> Suck it, Abigail. <laughs> Screw you, Abigail. My hat. You wouldn't even appreciate the hat. You'd never wear it. I deserve the hat. You're just gonna, I don't know, eat it or something. Look at all those strawberries. Oh, and I actually counted right as well. Right, do I have time? Do we think I have time to make it down to the beach and back? Because I don't know if I do. I probably don't, realistically. Oh, I do have these already. Okay, um... If I've got some... Some things I've got multiple, I feel like I should ship them, but no, we'll wait. Well, she eats rocks and flowers, so like... I feel like a straw hat is also fair game. passing out a big deal right now energy i want energy i haven't leveled up queen of sauce let's go give me my first recipe bring on the oh now i'm craving coleslaw really craving coleslaw oh we've got the fiberglass rod available not that i can afford it oh wow 56 gold in the merchants here also it's Haley's birthday oh what am i gonna do so many things Right, green bean. I'm going to sell the silver one because I've already got some. 
we're gonna go and donate these because that's a bundle done we might as well just donate everything we've got I'm gonna go take a look at them oh I forgot to water I'm gonna take a look at the merchant and see if there's anything that I can maybe like force being able to get if Abigail wins every year she's probably playing for the gold good point I have to give Haley something nice. I'm gonna give her a daffodil properly. I'll have a look if we've got one of quality. Uh, UA Info Suite, I definitely struggle with that. I can't, I wouldn't do half the birthdays. Most people eat mineral, I mean, good point. We all eat salt, right? Maybe she just needed some fibre to go with the minerals. <laughs> Are all of my 100 days videos compilations a stream? No. Um, just the Graveyard Keeper one. So far. The Terraria one will be. But it's just those two so far. But I'm planning to like do that every... Like essentially have a, one of those running most of the time. If that makes sense. Embrace your inner horse and just lick a big old rock of salt. None of the Stardew ones are, no. Oh yeah, Stardew videos, duh. No, none of them are. Maybe one day they might be, but... Have I tried the walkthrough tre trellis one? No, not yet. They, yeah. <laughs> they, they... They do, but like... The, some of them I really like... I want to be able to have it so that not every series is going to be streamed because I like that some of them will be never seen before footage. So like the messed up Stardew one and well, all the other Stardew ones, it, it's fun to me that like no one's seen these yet. So no one's seen these things happen already, if that makes sense. Like it's fully new, even for people who attend all the streams. Or like most of the streams. But that's not to say there never will be a streamed Stardew 100 Days. They probably will be. At some point. Like, it's probably going to happen. Julian, hello, welcome in. Right, merchant. Oh, of course your coconut sheep is... Oh, sturgeon. I need to make 600 gold today. <laughs> like, need. Need to make 600 gold today. It's not a want, but a need. <laughs> Let's go have a look what we've got at home. It's just nice, it's nice to have a mix. It would have been perfect, but like... Other things matter more at the moment. Spring seeds, I don't think I have many left. The community centre part felt like a fever tree. It didn't, didn't the entire thing though? Like not even just the community centre? The seeds do- I, I don't even have tea saplings unlocked at the moment. It's more that like I don't have much forage yet. So, um, I mean I can make one more set, but it's not- that's not going to be enough. Because I like to keep some behind just in case I need it. Let's have a look what else I've got. I don't think I have 600 golds worth of stuff. Sadly. Plus, I would have to go and sell it somewhere. Uh, right, I can sell those to Clint. Sell oh, one of them to Clint. These have been donated already, so maybe I could do three of them. Um, I need to sort my inventory out because I've got too much going on here. Let's have a look. How much are these? 350. Oh, I've got enough. That's fine. We're all good. Fishing. I will throw up. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. I'm not. I was going to say I'm not that dramatic, but I hate fishing and it's my entire personality. You just spent the entire five minutes trying to understand why you couldn't jump into the mountain lake. You're not on the one life challenge. Oh no. I would like to swim. Why can I not swim?
I didn't mention how I got to the pub for so long in the video. It was... I think I did. I showed like going across the water. The lava, not water. Because there, there are a lot of things where I, I will say I, oh, I, I've just gone to here thinking it's the, thinking it's Clint's. Um, I did get quite a lot of comments in the video, uh, on on those videos, being like, "You didn't go to this place," and then I then like explain where they go because, like, they they were. There were there were in the video, but like as in like I wasn't explaining anything new. Cause there were quite a few comments on like what was in the farmhouse. For example. Which is like understandable that people don't remember because there's so much going on. Like I'm not saying it's like a bad thing, but like <laughs> is yeah, that that's what I mean. It's like hard to keep track. So it wasn't like I was like annoyed at those comments. It was kinda like it was funny because it was like, yeah, it's really hard to keep it. It made it clear how hard it is to keep track of where anything is. If that makes sense. You wish you had a double monitor. Since when was it that I started using two monitors? I think it was like the first time I ever worked from home, like way before like COVID even, because I had two monitors at work. So it was, I think it was work that was my first time. Um, with the uh oh what's on this board oh except that why not yeah so my my, my first like full-time job was the first time i used dual screens and since then it was hard to go back the unique events is it just something that happens kind of by chance skipping this one Maybe what I'll do is when we get round to the mega movie, I'll put that list together because I don't think it's um that bad. It'll probably just be a list though. Right, give me that sturgeon because I'm not going without that. I, if I can avoid catching that for as long as possible, that would make me very happy. Part of lean disturbances, so it's one that can happen regularly. I must have just like been unlucky. After dip out and go to a meeting now. I hope the meeting goes well. I appreciate the forest sword luck. Thank you again for that. We have a look on the beach whilst we're here. Why not, right? Use the sprite master so you find it distracting. Sprite masters. Oh, what's this? junk well i don't think it's useless we'll find a thing for it seahorse what's that doing oh my god that's the dry body of a seahorse that washed ashore that makes me really sad got a little sand dollar remember to hydrate and like the stream yes thank you for the hydrate reminder and also if you are enjoying yourself today please do remember to hit the like button it does help us out a lot thank you so much for the reminder there you've had it happen four times yeah but then like we're talking to the same person who had like way too many snake vertebrae you know hydrate friends do not become the seahorse <laughs> dry and washed ashore <laughs> smash the desk with a bottle I do apologize not same save but treat yeah as in like your general luck get your drinks in you always hydrate the most on every stream days for all the reminders honestly it's like the, that's the thing is like for me my thoughts are that like the um the hydrate reminders are not just because obviously it's more of a common thing on twitch right the hydrate reminders but like to me, they're not just for the streamer, they're for everyone. Another one down. 
well, another difficult fish down, not the entire bundle, obviously. Uh, ocean fish. Night fish. Let's have a look at the forage. So we've got the coconut. And I think that's it. So summer forage. Oh yeah, I forgot we had the sticky bundle. You. And then the spring crops. Do the bundles include any new items? There will be bundles with the new items, but I have to unlock them. I haven't found out how yet, and I will just kind of come across it in time, I think. So if you know, don't tell me. You're the kind of person to chug water or forget for hours, which isn't how absorption works, so the reminders are helpful. Honestly, I, I do forget. Oh, new stuff unlocked, I forgot. What's next? Is it boiler room? Yes. Posture check. Oh, yeah, I forget about that. But then I don't really have good like I. I mean, you see me fidget a lot. Like I, I struggle not to sit cross-legged. And the problem in here is that the chair base of this chair is like not big enough to properly sit cross-legged, so it's uncomfortable. My posture's like even though it probably shouldn't be, my posture's best when I'm cross-legged because I'm not like vid. When I'm properly cross-legged, I'm not quite as fidgety. I do need to get a new chair for this. We were like this this chair. I got it for the like first room makeover, which was in May or something last year. Um it, it it's not a good chair it's not a good chair i don't recommend it it's so uncomfortable which is also why like obviously my other chair is like nicer looking but that's the one i spend most of my time on so i'm not gonna make myself uncomfortable for the for the rest of the hours let's sell that coral uh algae in here gold ore gonna keep that for now oh i can probably take that up to the mines today along with this stuff um clay and two more forage that i didn't notice these two i'm still in the mode of like keep everything because i don't know what's important yet never sat normally a day in your life <laughs> For the neurodivergent folk in here, do you feel like you can't sit normally? You always have to be cross-legged or have your feet up on something? <laughs> Not gonna lie. I'm sat with one leg crossed and the other leg is using my PC as a footrest. Because it's like level with the chair. If I, if I sit like normally, I swing my legs like a lot. Or like bob my knee, which is obviously really like distracting for me and for other people oh i'm still carrying the junk that's fine i'll carry around the loot that i don't know what i'm using it for proudly one day we'll find out and i'm excited to find out the use for this stuff i don't want to look up anything on this just yet more fun forage oh my god you're adorable cute But I switch between that and like, sometimes I put one foot on the floor. It depends on which foot goes dead. How many times have you walked into a room and just uh, in game or in real life and thought, why am I here? All the time, all the time. Multiple times a day. And I will literally like verbalize it as well. I will literally be like, why? What am I doing here? Don't remember. Take some of this stuff home. I don't have any reason to keep trash up here. Uh, the slime I'll leave for now until I've got enough of it. I think. Hey, it's all good. If you, if you need to get some sleep and get some sleep in, it sounds like you're really tired. 
Does anyone else make wishes on them and blow them away? I don't make wishes, I used to like blow them away as a kid, but I haven't I don't come across many of these dandelion things anymore for some reason. You given up on trying to stop yourself sitting weirdly? Yeah. You've had managers question where you're resting your chin on your knees. I used to do that, but um I've like significantly changed shapes and, and, and I can't do that now. But I did used to do that. Or I used to like have my knee up on the chair and like use it as an armrest almost. Which that was probably terrible for posture. I will say that is probably terrible. I'm just looking if there's any fun forage here before I go into the community centre. I think I've already walked through here today, so probably not. I, I, the only thing that was quite funny is like a couple of years into being there, they had to get me, uh, it wasn't a couple of years, it was a few months actually. I had to get me a footrest because my feet can't touch the floor on those, um, on, on the, my feet couldn't touch the floor on the office chairs. So like, that is why I would swing them so much. My earring is like stuck to my ear and it hurts. Between my glass, my hair and my headphones, there we go. Um, yeah, so obviously to, ha to have, to have the chair at the right height to like sit properly at the desk, my feet could not touch the floor. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Uh, ooh. Whoa, the emerald looks so different. Okay, so I need to... I mean, the I know I got rid of some of these gems, but I'm not too worried because I feel like I get them pretty frequently. The engineer's bundle, I'm kind of upset. <laughs> if I'm honest. <laughs> kind of upset. But it's okay. It's fine. It normally is like I don't know what it is I just I mean I, okay yeah no I just popped on so what I do is I fidget between putting a leg up putting a, the other leg on the floor or cross-legged but like cramming myself into being cross-legged on this chair because it's not not ideal what was funny is before we moved into this place we stayed in between the caravan and this place we stayed in an Airbnb because it was obviously like in the same the Airbnb was in the same city for us to do the last bits of prep plus just getting out the caravan and um when i was recording for, with, with that and stuff i i had a dining table to use as a desk there and the, the dining chair was even smaller than this so i literally put both like two dining chairs next to each other so that i could sit like that <laughs> i made it work for me <laughs> I had to. Um, I'm keeping my trash in the beach forage thing because I feel like trash is like, you know, it washes up on shore and stuff. Good night, Surgeon Ducky. Thank you for hanging out. Very much appreciated, and um, I hope you have a good sleep. You have to shift every 20 minutes max, which makes your cats very upset. Yeah, I imagine they're just like, can't can't cuddle because you won't stop moving. Can't sleep here. You were once trying to catch the legend spring when you're, it was the last day of the season and a good luck day. You reset three times, couldn't catch it. You then realized after that, that you fished up the iridium ore you needed for the bundle. You oh no. Oof. Oh, salmon berries. Let's go get some salmon berries. Hello, dear. Oh, it's fine. I, I know how to garden, Evelyn. It's all good. Do not worry about me. We are seasoned gardeners up in here. Oh my God, hello. How you doing? I think um, Chewie might be being a bit wild. I've heard the odd bark here and there. It is his like energy hours though he sleeps a lot because obviously he's really young. i mean even like as this breed as they grow up they still sleep quite a lot but like at this particular stage he um sleeps a lot and he gets like a couple of hours in the evening where he is just like the wildest puppy i can hear him like 
boating around and barking. One day I'll be able to show him on stream, but he's at a stage where he's still learning how to handle one of us leading, leaving a room. So I feel like if we bring him in here now, when he goes back in there, he's going to be like, what the hell is going on and start screaming. So probably want to avoid that. You'd rather, much rather a catch your knee than on you. This is like Chewie. Chewie would rather not lay in your lap, but lay like knee your feet. What was I doing here? Right, salmon berries. Let's go do salmon berries and foraging and stuff. Well, mainly salmon berries because like they're really good. We'll go, we'll start at the forest. Oh, should we have a look at, wait. I wanted to look at cherry and apricot. Should we have a look in the cave first? We'll do that. You can't sleep on your back. What, are you like laid on your front? Like, ha were they like perched on your shoulders? What is the deal there? That sounds very uncomfortable, actually. Cherries! We can complete a bundle. Get all the fruit first, and then we'll get out of here. We'll go and we'll get salmon berries and donate this cherry. That's another bundle done in a day, I'm happy. Why the fruit cave is such a win. I would... I do like... Why am I getting so many plums? Stretched out along your spine. Oh my gosh, imagine. Did she get really annoyed when you have to move as well? Flop her full body weight onto your face and you don't understand. A true like notice me you will notice me that's adorable oh, excuse me i got the wrong way oh. wake up wake up we're all good everything's fine you know people whose cat would try to jump on their back anytime they didn't lock the cat out when they were with their partner oh no They just like really like their humans, you know. Right, I've donated all that stuff. That's cool. I'm gonna ship a plum, and then let's go to the community center. <laughs> Acute cat parent paralysis. Just forced to stay as a pillow because that's your baby. Oh, just want to be included. This it's, it's so cute. And Chewie is so funny because he's like, I want to be included, but I don't want to lay on you. And I kind of like that because I'm very fidgety. I guess it's the extra warmth in either, isn't it? Oh yeah, I remember you saying because there was like one of the first um, streams I remember you saying... Um, that you had to like go for a little while because you wanted to take advantage of the fact that your cat actually wanted to cuddle oh we're not finishing a bundle we had two fruit to get never mind well i mean it's still progress that's fine it's totally fine totally not disappointed in the slightest it's okay because we're gonna have a supply of salmon berries and i probably should do this slime slaying because it's the last day Actually, I don't know if I'm going to do it in time. Let's just go up to the mines and see if we can do it because um, 360 gold is a lot of gold and I need to make sure I've got enough time to also talk to Lewis afterwards. So. I spy forage. Aha. You will not escape the loot goblin. <laughs> you like, 
either of these. So many love gifts. So many love gifts. Oh my goodness. There we go. Daffodil and salmonberry. Okay, you like neither of them. Have the salmonberry. Enjoy. Oh yeah, look, I installed the gift taste. Oh yeah, I need to put that in the um, description as well. You've been enjoying the season to its fullest as well. The berries I picked are both plump and plentiful and so sweet. I'll be eating the I'll be eating well for a while. Bless him. Oh, I should probably talk as well. Extra points, right? There's so many love gifts. Because there's so many items in general. Let's do this. I know! It's because I had other mods to add, so I did them all. I I, I even got like more organized than I thought. Oh, I forgot my pickaxe. Um <laughs> I well I wasn't planning to mine today, was I? I installed all the mods when I recorded One Life over the weekend. And forgot I installed them, so I came over to the PC in a panic today, like, oh my god, I haven't installed the mods in time. And in fact I actually had. Is it worth checking for forage buff food? I feel like I don't have enough money to justify it. We're organized. For I'm talking about like two hours ago, me, not 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 now, me. <laughs> organized in like my sense of the word. Organized as in like I actually installed the mods in advance, but then like obviously I didn't remember. There's a lot of stuff I don't remember to do. So I feel like MA can probably vouch for this. It was impressive that I added them by the next stream and not in like three weeks. <laughs> At least three weeks. I have like just like not done stuff for months because, you know, brain things. Megan, hello, how you doing? Happy Wednesday. Happy midweek. Slimes, where are you at? I killed two, three, oh, three out of six. I thought it was two. Slime? Please? Checking all the fifth floors. Oh, what's that? And I can't even find out. Sad. Oh, well. Oh, the loop's making me sad. Oh, key carrots. Oh, I can donate those. Actually, that was really good. I'm not doing the whole floor because it's too long. Come on, three more, three more. I can see some down there. I can't access this. No, I can get them that way. I forgot. I don't think I have any and I don't even have any ore for bombs. Oh, that did it. Yep, talk to Lewis. Okay. So hopefully I have time to do that still. Still no sunflowers? Ah. Oh. Yeah, that's pain. Really nice. Hello. Welcome in. Oh, Lewis. Hi. Thank you so much for the gold. I don't mind getting some slimes. Anyway, back to berry picking. Glad I just like ran into him there. I was kind of on the way to, to the saloon anyway. Gus wants a sardine. I'm going to accept it. Probably won't do it, but I'm doing it. I'm accepting it anyway. Get around the forest because of the time at the moment. I was gonna go down the um museum and Joja side, but there's only a few bushes over there versus the forest that I have to do. Wow, I'm so sorry. I just... <laughs> My brain just tunnel-visioned 
that one berry bush and was like nothing else matters you have no words no thoughts just salmon berries and so i was silent for like a few seconds like, i'm so sorry that's so funny <laughs> like it wasn't even like when i paused because i've forgotten half my sentence it was just like the only thing in my brain right now is this one salmon berry bush <laughs> This is the first uh, major day. This is the first live that you could uh, catch. Why, thank you. I appreciate you being here. Watching the streams and videos for so long. I appreciate your support. Very much appreciated. Oh. The fidget. The fidget. I'm glad you can make it. Chat can wait for the salmon very good. I think it was just like, I feel like, oh, there's a feather. I feel like I had a complete blank look as well. It was just like, bush i see the bush <laughs> i don't know what just happened there i appreciate that you understand how important just how important salmon berries are two spring onions by the sewer entrance thank you the distractions got him Even though they're not worth very much, you always want to get them every day. Well, see, I like I have a I have a phase of them like first year obviously it's kind of essential for food. Um as soon as I hit foraging level 10, it becomes even more appealing because they're so much better when they're already in quality. Uh and then after that, um I kind of burn out of it. Sewer onions. I mean, how do you think the soil around there is so fertile? The nutrients gotta come from somewhere. <laughs> The berry picking is one of your favorite things. Honestly, it's really therapeutic. It's so nice, just like, I don't know. There's something about the way that it works on the bushes. It's so satisfying. I will be going back down to that, like, in-between bit shortly. I just want to do up here first. I mean, we didn't get very many today, but that's okay. been a long time since you've seen the vanilla maps you usually play an expanded oh there are no berries around here how rude how rude i didn't check by leah's house either you usually max out foraging first you just love running around checking for forage it's, it's fun isn't it and it's even better in Rapidax because of all the fun new loot there is. I mean, I found another feather. I think this is a... Oh, it's a dove feather. That's cute. I'm excited to find out what those are for. Excuse me, did I get the bus stop yet? I don't think I did. Thank you for the reminder. It's going to be a very yawny um, hour just to make you all aware because i i'm very tired like i said I, I just kind of like accidentally not gone to bed at a reasonable time which is entirely my fault but like i'm usually pretty good with that stuff you max fishing first and try to try to make 15 grand fishing by spring festival oh my goodness i could never check in the bus stop as uh, like the bit before the bus tunnel not a single one i came out here for no reason i'm more yeah fishing for me is a it's honestly usually my last skill to level 10 like even after combat right you are going in there i'm gonna ship one of these because i haven't yet and then stick the feather in there too. Bug me could go in here. Um oh I do have one of each of these. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Oh. Open the wrong chest. I think the slime I'll leave in here for now as well, because I haven't got enough of it to wanna um obviously I can't donate that very small amount of slime i'm 
gonna go to bed before I pass out, not pass out, but like get some sort of energy penalty. Being tired isn't, yeah. I mean, like I'm, I'm tired a lot anyway, but he woke us up. He's usually like quite good with um, not waking up like ridiculously early. So the the routine he used to be used to was waking up at 6 a.m. Which I'm not even waking up at 6 a.m. But breakfast at 6 a.m. Which for me is kind of early. And um, we kind of just found that he didn't want to wake up that early anymore. So. You know, obviously that very much suits us. So now he wakes up at like... He usually wakes up at half eight, but today for some reason he woke up at seven. And he sleeps through the night as well. We, we don't... Um, other than like the first week, we don't really have to take him out overnight either. To the toilet, which is wild to me. That he can already get through the night. So that has helped a lot. Mining is usually my first level 10. Mining and foraging. Another day of salmon berries. Right, shall I just take today? There's not really any point. Because it doesn't complete a bundle for me. So, we'll go by the bus stop this time. You like splitting the professions in co-op? Oh yeah, because in, in co-op, isn't it that like... As long as one player has completed the requirement, then it counts for everyone. Which is really cool. I've never done perfection as co-op, but like any time I ever played a save with Michael, he would do all the fishing because he likes fishing and I don't. Fishers one to the Festival of Ice. Every fish in that festival will be a tutorial. Does that that must make it so much easier? Right? Or does it? This time I will do the um Jojo and Clint side of the map. Doesn't really because of the timer. Fair point. I guess it's still catching them slower. Do I have a sardine in my chest? Yeah, I do. I probably should bring that. Has to be today as well. I'll go home and grab that because obviously he's open a lot later. So I have some time. Never got more than six, me either. Oh yeah, because you can do different actual like professions too, can't you, with different perks? That's really cool. That's a that's a way I've never really thought about it. I do love the um I guess it's because it's you know, it's obviously the first day you get to Ginger Island and you need to do all that kind of stuff. I love that like trying to get as many walnuts as I can on the first day of being there for you. Like, especially now that I've learned where all of them are. It's so satisfying. Just doing a little route of like, get you from over here, then go up that path, and then like go pick up that one from over there, and then in this little pathway for that one over here. Margot mod adding prestige versions, yeah. I remember when it was, um, I didn't realise until May told me that that one replaced the, there was a mod called, oh yeah, I can't go up there yet. 
walk of life which basically was just for the professions but I um I like the idea of being able to prestige them oh my god Kaylee I do the same thing however I'm usually not successful until one bird has dropped one I struggle oh there's a piece of forage up there i struggle with doing it with all four being free because i kind of lose track of what i've put of where but i find it easier to rotate them when there's only three thank you lavender cowboy you had no clue the yeah the struggle I think in the end I ended up having to watch, I think it was uh, Wickedy's walnut gui uh, like Walnut's Guide to like find more because there were some that I just couldn't figure out how to get to. Like I didn't know about some of the paths. You know the ones that are on the cliffs that you have to like go through paths to get to that you can't always really see? Oh, Morel. Um, yeah, I didn't, I wouldn't have found them for, without a guide. Because like for a while I thought like oh maybe they're just decorative and then, no they're not they're not decorative they're they're you need them. Also the pain in helping updating the wiki with sudden slight changes. To the village's schedules after 1.5. Oh, good grief, yeah. That walnut guide is so good, right? Just a speed but not of walnut collecting in order. Yeah, I think um Was that the one I watched or was that later on? Did she have two? I have definitely watched the speedrun one, but I don't remember if I've watched it before or after i don't know why that's relevant i don't i don't know where where my brain is going with that <laughs> it's a great guide i was here for a sardine she had one that came out right as 1.5 dropped and then the speed run came later on that's right yes yeah, so there were two uh both are great If you put a sprinkler next to a pet water bowl, will it automatically fill like a slime hutch? I don't think so. Not that I've ever tried, but I don't think so. You're worried yours glitched out on oh, no. I do love the walnut hunt, but not the, um, wow, look, oh, pumpkin ale, minus one speed. Red tea plus five attack. I'm just looking at, ooh, mint cocoa, farming and luck. See, that's a good one to have, like, a, you know, for, I mean, it's very expensive, but good to ha I suppose I could make it myself. Like, instead of spicy eel for harvesting. Sakura soda, pure water. That's cute. Lemon juice. Oh, there's just rice puddings. What was I here for again? Oh, yeah. <laughs> here you go. Completely forgot why I came in here. Thank you very much. Very expensive. It's very luxury. It's like that feeling of like, you know, when you go to like a Christmas market um, and the hot chocolates are a bit like extra. So they all cost like a tenner. Oriana, how you doing? Beach forage, I want to check. Haven't been around the forest yet, so I'll do that after. Oh, we can complete the crab pot bundle, I think. I'm pretty sure that's the last thing I need. Why didn't I check this before getting disappointed when I get there? Yes, I can do it. obviously going to bring these home because I've got a few coral at home so I can actually sell some of this. 
<laughs> New seaweed? Is it like dry seaweed? Kelp. Large round seaweed used in a variety of dishes is also known as kombu. I really want um a seaweed salad now. You know the seaweed salads that you get at like sushi restaurants? That. That is what I want. Damn, it's 5pm. Okay, Thursday I'm going to have a look if we can find any more fun seeds to plant, I think. Oh, bundle. You saved everything your farm produced for around a year and a half in game and just could barely afford it. Oh, good grief. Welcome back from the meeting. There we go, crab pot bundle. Let's go. Let's have a look at this bulletin board. So, oh, Holmes Cook's bundle is going to be painful. Oh, stick that in there already. Oh no, that means I've got the forages bundle as well, right? Yeah. Say goodbye to all of our salmon berries. <laughs> I mean, it's done now, right? <laughs> done now. I still went down the forest today and um, I might have to BRB for a second for a quick bathroom break from all that hydrating so give me two minutes and I'll be back.
Okay. I'm back. Let's do... Has the light burned off in here the entire time? <laughs> I don't think it has, has it? I might... Did I turn the light... I'm so confused. Hang on. <laughs> What the? I think I turned the light off by accident. That's so funny. I mean, hey, good habit to have, right? <laughs> I just uh, sat down. I was like, wait, it's dark. That's so weird. Anyway, salmon berries. You got a cold snap over there. I've heard it's been like absurdly cold. Over here it's like been cold, but not like that cold. That was such a weird <laughs> I just sat and I was like, something's different. What is it? Why is it like this? Minus 20. Oh, it's finally warmed up to 17F. Yeah, that's so warm. <laughs> so warm. Still minuses in the cel in the Celsius, but I'm willing to bet it's like that must have affected a lot of things like in general i can't imagine things functioning very well at that temperature you literally have shut down oh that's freaking rough that's horrible and kind of terrifying actually it's getting to the point where it's like the climate's like oh you don't believe us let me show you what we can do We did have like a week of basically non-stop rain last week and that was fun. But it wasn't cold necessarily. In fact, it's been like unusually warm for winter here. And that was also kind of scary. Not like hot or anything, but like, you know when you know it's not meant to be like this. Oh, look at that new mushroom. Matsutake mushroom. Oh, wait. I think I might have got one of those already. It sounds familiar. Chaos, hello, how you doing? Making loaded potato soup. That sounds incredible. I'm now hungry. Some places didn't even open. Yeah, that can't be safe. <laughs> like that cannot be a safe working environment at all. I remember something here about like, there was a time where it was like ridiculously hot and having to like go to a non-air-conditioned workplace and um everyone was talking about it they were like how is it you know how is it legal to come to work and at the time it was something about like there were laws for cold temperatures but not hot temperatures I've done that a couple of times. Sometimes I do it, um, even though some of them get destroyed, I do it sometimes just outside this entrance of the farm here. So like this little patch here. I plant trees sometimes. Your apartment has to has, have taps dripping so just so you have running water. Oh, because they just freeze? Yeah, that's scary. Like, so scary. You're nervous about how they'll react to the walker you you've got this i think it's like i mean hopefully you haven't had any ableist vibes from them so far but like i feel like some of the things that have helped with me when it comes to like obviously i don't have any like visible disabilities necessarily but like I found for me, even though people are like, oh, I mean, it's not like I'm talking about them. Oh, it's not like I was talking about them all the time, like at my old job. But when, you know, if people ask about stuff, I would very much like own it, if that makes sense. So like, you know, yes, this is me. Deal with it <laughs> kind of thing. I'm, you know, st I'm still the same person, essentially, at the end of the day. 
This is perfect because I actually have. Uh, can I not? Oh yeah, I can. There we go. I need to put bait. Have I got bug me down here? Uh, oh, how much does that make? Oh, it makes five. I forgot. Okay, we've got enough for like one set. Right, these I'm gonna sell. Um, I'll keep the horseradish for now. We might as well fill these up, even if I can only make one. I think I, I don't know if I, no, I probably don't have any bug meat at the mines, do I? I feel like if I had, I would have brought it back. I guess we'll find out next time I go. Uh, bait. That's going to go in the fish chest. With the not many fish that I have. Let the dog and go to bed. It's so hard to explain when you can't see it and trying to own up to it, they still don't take you seriously. Yeah. I think it's. People have like. Um, the difference between like when I am a bit like. As a sheepish is the wrong word, but like KG about it versus like. When I'm like, this is how it is has been it made quite a big difference to me um as to like how people kind of reacted to it it is it is rough because it's like the thing the, one of the things that's difficult is if you don't do it very much it's like Oh, you're just like, I mean, I haven't really personally experienced this like to my face, but I've heard a lot of like people saying that like they're milking it when they're struggling and trying to rest and take time for themselves. But then when they like get up and do the things that they're being asked to do. Oh, well, you can't be that ill because you can manage it. And it's like, well, what do you want from me? You got this, Sarah. It was hard to get a time off report. Yeah, that's that's not okay. That's so not okay. Right, I can make wow one daffodil in that entire lot. That's so funny. You're so forgetting to put ugh. It's just like people say they're accepting of stuff until it becomes inconvenient to them and it's like you can't just pick and choose the parts of disabilities that you're okay with. Like that's not how it works. More seeds. I'm gonna bring them with me to yes and see if we can get us some fun new things to No, no I'm not, it's Wednesday. <laughs> Quite simply, no. I cannot. Right, crayfish. I'm going to put both of these in this chest. This chest. And I have two pieces of bait. Shall I just... I'll fill the two crab pots. Why not? I could go buy bait, but I don't really want to spend my money on that. It is one of those things, isn't it? Like, a lot of the time, it's a case of, like... Oh, well, you hate your job? Just find a new job. And it's not always that simple. Or there's like parts of the job that you have, you know, that make it so that staying there is like, worth it is the wrong word, but it makes it hard to go anywhere else. <gasps> yes, please do send a photo of the soup. I must see it. I mean, I was really lucky that the workplace I used to be at was were pretty... No, they weren't pretty good. They were very good with a lot of that stuff. Like, I wouldn't have ever gotten diagnosed with ADHD in the first place if it wasn't for them. And they were very good at making sure that everything was at the pace that I needed it to be. Sounds rough out there. Right, Wednesday. Problem is, it's a bad luck day. I guess I could... We'll do more salmon berries. But also, let's go and catch some more fish. Me questioning that in my own brain. 
catch some more fish? Maybe? We should. Let's just do it. Yeah, let's do it. We'll do some other places because we've done, we've done the lake now. We'll go and do river and ocean because I haven't done those yet and I can get a couple more community center fish. I went your whole site diagnosis for it. That's very. I mean, I guess it's just like. It's horrible. The thing is. Obviously, there are. Uh, annoyingly, like, the few people out there that. Like, most people. Not milking it, not faking it. But there are obviously, like, a handful out there who. Do. And obviously, like, it's hard to know who those people are. But I say that as a, like, it, it's very few people and you can't just, like, test. But it's usually, like, you know, not like, as in you can't make that judgment for yourself, you know, it's... Like, unless they're doing something that's blatantly obvious or have admitted it to you, like, directly. They're called accommodations in the US, but people break it all the time. I feel like I hear a lot of like things in the US where people don't just don't think the rules apply to them. Better to let a few hypothetical fakers get away with it than call everyone faking. Yeah, no, I, I completely agree with you, but it's obviously why it's obviously why those things were in place, because like guarantee the people who make those rules have no disabilities. Last time they gave you a form and this time they made you send your form. No, they're like, that, that, I feel like that's excessive because it's like, there is so much information in there that they don't need. Oh, more grapes. Wild grapes. I got some of those last time, I remember that. Welcome back, Kira. It is infuriating that people get punished for those who take advantage, honestly. But that's like a lot of things though, isn't it? There are always people who ruin things. What is this? Dryad saddle. Oh, it's a mushroom. It grows on the side of tree trunks, has a smell and flavor similar to cucumbers. Interesting. I feel like I'd try that if it... I'm sure it's a thing in real life, if... The... I don't know. Is it a thing in real life? It sounds... good. There's a foraging buff? I didn't look at that. Oh, plus f- Good grief. I'm gonna save that for now. Plus five foraging on a mushroom. I wonder if the recipe- Should we have a look at the recipes? Hang on. Oh, I was thinking it- Like, I was wondering if it was plus five foraging. Oh, there's another one. If it's plus five foraging as, like, as is, I was wondering if it was, like, part of also making a really, like, high buff food. We'll test it at some point, but it won't be today. I'll probably test it more likely in blackberry season. Hopefully I remember by then. It's also that, like, I understand that, like, places obviously need information, but... A lot of processes, especially when it comes to like specifically, well, even most disability related things, like they're not very disability friendly. Like when I had a very long term time off, I had to fill out, when I say I had to fill out a form, it wasn't a form, it was a book. Like it was a lot, it was a lot of pages. 
of like manually having to write like handwrite everything out and i'm thinking to myself like how can that's so much to to, uh, to ask of people who are struggling to function on a day-to-day -day basis to fill out a huge form and send it back by a certain time this is not it's not that that thing was not a bit of a form it was like a big old book with like not just checkbox answers or simple answers it was like full on like you have to describe in like major detail how your conditions are affecting your life that was wild to me I've definitely missed out on quite a few salmon berry bushes in the past few days by not being over here, but that's okay. What do we do? We haven't been up to the backwards and stuff yet. Let's do that. We'll drop all this stuff home first. Press to get the final say in how the accommodations are implemented. And a few of them ignore the emails. That cannot be legal. Is there some type of onion and root also on the beach? Um, I didn't see any. Uh, what was I here for? I was shipping coral. So these mushrooms are new. Um, I haven't shipped the shamrock yet. Wait, <gasps> lucky clover. That one's different. What the heck? 15 luck. We're taking that to Skull Cabins at some point. You've been arguing about yeah, that's rough. Having to oh, it's only twelve. Oh, well, I should ship it for the shipping completion anyway. I can't believe that. That's so funny. Right, the clam. I'm keeping because I already completed that bundle. My brain going back in time there. That is wild. Oh, I said I was going to fish and I just didn't. Let's go fish. Oh, I could fish on the foot. Uh, no, we'll go out and fish. Did I go to the beach today? Yeah, I did go to the beach. I just forgot to fish. Do I have any wavy hair products I would recommend? Your hair is always so shiny. Um, full disclosure, today's a wash day. <laughs> so it's like fresh. But what do I use? So my shampoo and conditioner, depending on the day, I have this like... The shampoo, I either switch between a head and shoulders one just because my scalp is gets very upset um and also a function of beauty one and then the conditioner i have a function of beauty one which i've got about half a bottle left of and then the conditioner i kind of switch between um either the garnier hair food or i just buy this like cheap coconut one from like being or something it's not i can't remember the brand of it but it's it, very very cheap and the ingredients are fine it's not the best conditioner i've ever had um it just depends on how much i can be bothered to like go and seek out a good one but outside i use when i come out i use um aussie's curl cream that stuff's really good because it's like a leave-in conditioner and then i use a vo5 mega hold wet look i think it's the wet look gel um specifically and that like it casts really well it also refreshes into a cast really well and um scrunches out really well you've been using native i'll have to have a look at that i think i've heard of them but um i have also had when i go to the salon they use only curls on me and they're really good too the smell is too strong for you on the Garnier one. The hair food speci is specifically the banana, the banana one that comes in a tub, like the mask version of it. I like that a lot. I um also like try to get away with as long as possible of not, like as long as my hair allows me to not wash it for, if that makes sense, because it is like healthier for my hair personally. Uh, 
That sounds like a lot, Rainy Brewster. You heard of someone trying to get a hearing aid? The only way they could get an appointment was over the phone. Uh, excuse me? I keep missing fish because I'm also reading. Can I eat the clover and reset just to see how long the, the um, buff lasts? I'm probably not going to do that just because it takes a, a good minute for it to load back in. Actually, no, I can. I can. I'll do it at the end of the stream because I'm going to be ending anyway after this day. There we go. I've got a few, uh, a couple of fish knocked out. Let's go and check the um, sea as well. You've been using mousse instead of gel, but you might revert because your hair doesn't last the week. I also, yeah, I put a bit of water in it in the mornings, mostly when I can be bothered, but... Last week I hasn't... <laughs> the only problem I get is I get, like, one side of my hair. Like, you can see on this side where it's like... This bit just doesn't want to cooperate a lot of the time and just falls flat very, very quickly. But in the front it's, like, better. Um, even trying to be upside down and stuff, and... The only thing that I'm sad about with the short hair is that I can't pineapple it like I used to because that used to do really well for me and I hate the bonnet. I can't stand it. I've got a satin pillowcase but there's only so much that can do. I do also have a mousse. I can't remember which one I've got though. But I don't use it quite as often. But it's also sticky and I don't like it. Um, And I did not... I let it air dry today. I didn't diffuse it. My hairdryer sucks. I also hate the hairdryer, just in general. Find out where- so it's like, you, you have to like put essentially all of the hair on the top of your head because it protects it when sleeping. Have I tried using a cotton t-shirt hanging upside down when uh, scrunching it? Yes, I do that. And I also flopped with the t-shirt as well today. Another herring. Oh, we have done some ocean fishing, haven't we? Because we've got a herring and a sardine already. But I use the t-shirt to plop because, well, mainly because today my... I have a microfiber actual hair towel. But I like left it in another room and I couldn't be bothered. But I also, I always have the t-shirt to like, my hair holds water like nothing else. Like they even said it in the salon, like, um, when they were obviously styling my hair wavy there slash curly, they said, um, that obviously usually when you're styling this kind of hair, you go at it sopping wet. But for me, sopping wet is like unreasonably wet. <laughs> so like even them over there had to like squish out some of the water first because <laughs> it was just way too much so i use the um i like take some of the water out in the shower and then i <sighs> put the products in then i use the towel to scrunch uh sorry t-shirt to scrunch a bit more of the water out and then i put it in a leave up for a bit in a in a towel or a t-shirt you just like living in the US for so many reasons. See, if like, if we could, it was somewhere we would have wanted to live, but like with both of our health problems, it's just like so not feasible. <laughs> Cannot imagine dealing with any of that stuff over there. I would be lost without the NHS, even if it is like underfunded and difficult. It's still also very, very helpful. Right, we'll get some sleep and then we're going to look at those buffs. Oh, level five foraging gatherer no question of it give me double of the fun stuff gosh imagine i've had gatherer with those um mushrooms okay let's have a look at those buffs and then i'll log off why don't i look at the mail um so there was the clover and this mushroom so we'll have a look at the clover first because i'm literally just going to log out straight after so it's not even going to save 
Uh, so that luck buff lasts two minutes, so it's not very long. And the mushroom lasts one minute, so not very long either. But yeah, I think that's going to do us for today. I hope I um, satisfy the curiosity with the, with the two buffs there. Well, it was good for me to know too. So I'm glad that like, you know, you can use it for a quick burst, but not like loads. I thought that was that was uh, good to know though. So thank you for asking me to do that. I wouldn't have thought of that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream today. If you did, please do make sure to hit the like button. It does help us out a lot. It's a good little free way to support the channel. Uh, thank you to everyone who super chatted and became a member and also just like hang out and you were all awesome today. And I'll see you all next week. So streams are going to be same time next week, Monday Terraria, Wednesday Rapidex, both 7pm UK time. Bye!